back with episode number two of Face of the Franchise QB1 here on Madden 20. If you guys missed episode number one, I don't want to spoil anything, so there will be a link to the full playlist of this series in the description box below. Make sure to check out episode number one if you haven't, so nothing's spoiled up to this point. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I know, dude, I'm so excited to get into episode number two. If you do want to see it, episode number three, a triple upload today, make sure to once again smash a crazy amount of likes for this episode, and you will see episode number three later today. I don't know how many episodes I can squeeze in a one day, but I'll try my best to get as many uploads up to date for you guys. With that said, subscribe if you are new and turn on the notification bell. You should not miss any uploads of the series and any Madden 20 uploads as there's going to be a ton today as it is time to jump back into face of the franchise for episode number two. All right, I just talked to coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. What do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. I think we are playing college football it's, playoff it's, it's today. A joke. All right, look, coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Uh oh. Well, this is crazy, right? You're like, this is bad, bad, bad. Agree with coach. Right? You need to prove to him I can handle this. Maybe playing it safe's the best option. But you don't have to prove anything, especially to him. Dude had you on the bench for four years, remember that? You need to wake up. So I am a senior. I was so confused. There's a lot at stake right now for all of us. Even more so for Isaiah. So you don't take what he says personally. You're doing the right thing. Okay. All right. My first real decision. Have a good game. A face of the franchise. I'm guessing this is my OC or maybe quarterback coach. Semi-final versus Texas, dudes. Here we freaking go. Oh man. What if we lose? Outside a surprise snowstorm in North Texas with temps in the 20s, but that has not dampened the spirits of the folks inside of AT&T Stadium here in Arlington as we get set for the first of our college football here playoff semifinal matchups. Actual college we'll football the Texas Longhorns in Madden. On their in-state rivals, the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Look who it is, dude. Good luck tonight. Thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. It means a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. So we just saw Patrick Mahomes. To play for a national championship next Monday night in Santa Clara. We are can we turn? Dude, can we turn his voice off? Please. Can't even freaking think with him screaming in my ear. But what I was trying to say is I wonder if no matter what college you choose, if there is a player that talks to you pregame. We might have to check that out for experiment video. Underway from Arlington in the national playoff semifinal. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25 yard line. Can you shut up? I don't want to hear you talk. It's just so cool though, to hear the college band in the background in a Madden game. First and 10. As if this guy is too freaking loud, I apologize. I can't do anything about it. I can't turn it off. We're just going to take off and scramble. First play of our collegiate career. Did we even get to pick our number? Why am I 14? I would say be quiet. I turned off commentary for a reason. The slant. Catch on the run. Street. Isaiah. Big play. First down. That's the first pass that Isaiah Streets has caught in his career by somebody other than Marcus Washington. And you talk about this hey, quarterback Marcus change and the impact on this Marcus offense. Washington was a five throw. So get out of my face too fast, man. Well, we'll be taking it. Brady loses the football. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage. Well, we fumbled. I'm just going to chuck this ball deep. Actually, that's probably not a smart thing to do. Okay, this guy is wide open. Accurate pass. We get it. Mr. Young. Spin move. We're going to get the ball all the way down to the 10-yard line. I don't know what difficulty this is on, 
But I am liking this. I don't even think you can choose what difficulty it's on. And I like how it goes straight to the plate. Oh, come on, Mr. Samuel Brady. That's the interception. Oh, my God. That was almost bad. I am just... I, I'm so thrown off right now because people won't start screaming. They call hot reacts too, so that makes it easy on me. Playing the game. Although this is my first thing I'm adding to because we're going to scramble and we're going to get into the end zone and take a lead in the college football playoff semifinal against Texas. Our in state rival, 7 0. Now, I wonder, wonder if our backup quarterback, quarterback was the way. Who is that? What if this drive had gone bad? You, I, I hate how you can't look at, like, you can't see um, you can't see the death chart and stuff. So I think we're going to play one drive defensively, and after that, we'll play just offensively. We get a sack in the first play. I'm trying to see if we get a quarterback. That's what I was interested about. And Nichols, I wonder, they probably had to just come up with generator players, obviously, with the whole deal with the NCAA. I just wish these guys would shut up. I know it's making the video annoying with them talking. Oh, that's, that's a dot. Actually, it was incomplete somehow. How was that incomplete? I don't know, I'm not asking questions. So third down and 14. Can we get the ball back? They're going to run the ball. That's a smart play call, isn't it? Big hit, and they get this ball back. Hey, he's so open. The deep pass. He's gonna. Ooh, that was so close. Third down and ten. We're trying to keep the chains moving. Take a two possession lead on in-state rival Texas here in the college football playoff. So this should be a first down. Another overthrow. Come on, Mr. Brady. It's gonna be a fourth down and nine, and they punt it. So we get the ball right back. This might be an absolute blow out here today have the ball at midfield here, as this should be a big play this is going to be Jones with the first down huge play first play of this drive the 17 yard line scramble with him. Mr. Brady Isaiah Street he's going to make this catch Isaiah Street down to the three cover we have to scramble again I mean, a touchdown is a touchdown as we scramble for our second rushing touchdown of this first quarter as we take a 14 to nothing lead on the University of Texas. Longhorns looking now at their little brother as they are down. See if our defense can make another big stop here. As it looks like they are moving the ball down the field. Fourth down and inches. They're going to punt. We have to go in 99 yards. Just something this ball deep. Can we get a 99 yard play? No, but Simmons with a huge catch. Not only do we have Isaiah as a beast receiver, Mr. Simmons coming up with a big play. We need 10 more yards here. Wait for the to develop. He's so open. Overthrow him again, dude. I am so bad. No wonder I sat on the bench for four years. How am I supposed to make it to the NFL when I can't hit wide open receivers? So Texas has the ball within the 20 yard line. As good start, false start. Second down and six. That's a sack and that's a fumble and that's two big hits in a row as they lose seven yards. I think we'll just probably play the big moments on defense. Open receiver dump off another huge hit as Texas is going to line up for a field goal and give us the ball back with a minute left to go in this first half. He's open. He is so open. He's going to overthrow again, dude. We are not getting drafted. We are so bad. You know what? Just going to scramble again. Keep the chains moving. 50 seconds left to go. Hopefully we don't fumble. We don't. The post is open. Overthrown again, but thank God for Isaiah Streets being halfway competent, unlike us. We can get open. Run a good route. Oh, God, they like, trip and cover them. Throw it. Let's hope. That's going to be. We'll have to kick the field goal. We got to. We got to try to kick this field goal. Get that field goal back that we just allowed before the end of that half. And I think this is probably on all pro. That's probably what this difficulty is on. And once again, I don't think you can change what your difficulty is on here in face of the franchise, especially in the college football playoff. I don't even know if you guys can hear me because these guys are too god dang loud. So once again, Texas has the ball now within the 10-yard line. It starts again with a false start. Oh, God, that's it, isn't it? Spin move. He's going to be down at yeah, the four. So third and goal from the four-yard line. Need a big stop here. Bring a pressure. Going to hit the QB Jr. with the sack. Down goes the Texas quarterback Nichols as they are going to set up for another field goal. 
Come on, don't overthrow me this time. There we go, Simmons. Big play. They can't cover these slants for some reason. As just like that, we get the ball in the red zone. A huge, like, 50-yard pass to our receiver, Simmons. Easy money. This should be. Touchdown, Texas Tech. What a pass. Jones with a touchdown reception as we do take a 24-6 lead over Texas. As let's sim to the next drive. See how our defense can do here. See if our defense can get another stop and give us the ball back. We can begin to chew this clock. As... No, they scored a touchdown. We didn't get to jump in the game. I need somebody. I got to jump the ball off my back foot. That's not good. That's an interception. At least it's not an interception. Just doing some crazy things here. We're going to have to punt the football. Hopefully our defense can get another stop. As apparently we got the ball back. I don't know how we did. Some sort of turnover. But now let's actually try and choose some clocking get out of here and advance to the national championship. I, I want to get this game over. Fourth down and one. I'm going to look for a pass here out of the backfield. No, we're getting... That's a sack. Oh, come on now. Always making me look dumber than what I already am. Here it is again, dude. We jump into the game and it's a false start. So there we are. I've, uh, I've, I have found a bug. Every time we jump out of the Super Sim within the red zone, they like immediately get a false start, which I'm not complaining. I just find it funny. They do have the ball now exactly at the 20-yard line. If we keep them out of the end zone, it should be a GG. This is a lot more difficult than what I thought it would be. Little dump-off pass when those jet sweep bounce pass things. That's got to be a touchdown. Come on now. So, this is a lot more difficult than what I wanted it to be. Talk about them being inaccurate. Now we're going offside. Oh, my. I actually know it's a false start. So a little bit. Is it backs up five yards, but once again, a little stressful. We should be able to come out of here with the win. Imagine us actually losing. Imagine us losing in the college football semifinal. A two point conversion from the eight yard line. Sack, hello. Pressure today or tomorrow? There's no. Bad, bad. Griggs, let me bring this back. Griggs, get up. Griggs, run like a fast man. Get away from. Hey, I'll take it, though. They didn't pick it up. First down, Young with the run to midfield. And I think that might be a GG. Three, two, one. That does it. A little bit more stressful than what I expected. But we do get a 24 19 win over Texas. We, we didn't play that well. We were. Our back's not good. So I was trying to hear if it told me who we were going to be playing. We're getting achievements here. He's not even telling me good job. He's going to pat me on the back. Well, that was underwhelming, wasn't it? As that does it for the semifinal. Look at us. We're happy. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, sir. That was a gutsy performance out there tonight. You took us to a national championship when nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth. I mean, I expected us to. I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, Kosh. Thank you. <laughs> How are we supposed to be a first round draft? Hey, we lost the chip. We'll only play oh. two games in our career. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! <laughs> Damn. Looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving Whoa. your hands. Thank you. Oh. Absolutely. Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? <laughs> okay. Hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh, off the board, huh? But Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? What? Dude. Well. I don't even. What does that even hmm. mean? Purple. Well, these are both tough, but that good is options. So random. I think I'm gonna have to go with purple. <laughs> Wait, never did I ever imagine in a Madden 20 face of the franchise. 
having to answer a question rather or not I'd want a unicorn's mane to be pink or purple. Just wanna po just pointing that out there. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that character does not look like me. Oh, look. <laughs> at all. You see, look, you don't you don't pick from the options given. Alright, the game is in the name. Off the board. Yeah, now it's clicking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches his horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, uh, Onyx? This little girl's wild. <laughs> okay. I told you, she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? I Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course. Anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Oh, come on now. Three? I thought I said four. Come on now. This is too much four pressure. Touchdowns. Oh. <laughs> is, is that okay? What's well, what? yeah. Yeah. Four touchdowns is a lot. What if I throw five? Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. Where does it, where does this come well, I'll see what I can do. Yes. Don't, don't worry. We'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to see you again. It's nice to meet you, Emily. You too. Alright. Oh, that was unexpected. But guys, that is going to do it for this college football playoff semifinal episode. The next episode will be the national championship. I don't know who I'm playing yet, but hope you guys are excited for that and did enjoy today's episode and are enjoying this face of the franchise series. If you are, make sure to smash that like button. Also, don't forget you have one final day to enter my Twitter and Instagram giveaways for copies of Madden 20. I'm giving away, I think, 16 copies of Madden 20 at this point. So link to my Instagram and Twitter description box below. Picking the winners tomorrow. So go enter if you haven't. Make sure to smash that like button if you do want to see the College Football National Championship episode later today. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.